ADC Ad Scope 603 versus ADC Ad Scope 608. Let's go. Can't decide whether you want to spend a little bit more money on the 608 or a little bit less on the 603. In this video, I will show you the differences between the two. Price. I bought the AdScope 603 for 77 US dollars and the AdScope 608 for 95 US dollars. Weight. The AdScope 603 weighs 163 grams, which is 5.7 ounces, and the AdScope 608 weighs 174 grams, which is 6.1 ounces. Acoustics. In my detailed review of both these stethoscopes, the 603 received a star rating of 3 out of 5 and the 608 received a star rating of 3.5 out of 5. And the main reason for this, I think, is because of the open bell on the 603. It does not convert into a pediatric side. And I do believe a little bit of sound is escaping through there. I want to point out that the open bell, pediatric side are the main differences between these two stethoscopes. Tubing length. The tubing length of the AdScope 603 and the 608 are exactly the same. They are 77 centimeters, which is 30 inches. Tubing feel. These two stethoscopes have exactly the same tubing. I find it a little bit sticky and it gets caught on my neck hair. Spare kit. With the AdScope 603, you will receive a set of large and small ear tips, name tag and a user manual. With the AdScope 608, you will receive a size small and large ear tips, a user manual, a name tag, and an open bell that can convert this pediatric side. Warranty. You will get a lifetime warranty for both the 603 and the 608. When I do my detailed reviews of the stethoscopes, I give them a score out of 50, and the AdScope 603 received a score of 35 out of 50, and the AdScope 608 received a score of 36 and a half out of 50. If you are tossing up between buying the AdScope 603 or the AdScope 608, I do recommend that you go and check out my full review of these two stethoscopes. I will leave a link for that in the show notes. Thanks for watching my video. I will see you on the next one and remember, listen to your heart.